Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Elite Dangerous and Elite Dangerous Odyssey if you're lucky enough to have it. For those of you who spend their time in systems that are war-torn, the war system state will know that there are not only conflict zones that you can use with your war machine ship to get your pews on, but if you have Elite Dangerous Odyssey you can also leverage frontline solutions to get down and dirty with some first-person shooter action. However, there is something else going on in these war-torn systems that can be to your advantage, especially especially with engineering. I'm talking about high-grade emissions and the materials that you can find in high-grade emission spots in these war-torn systems. Now if you're a warmonger and you like the pews, then you'll be very familiar with war-torn systems and all that they can offer. High grade emissions, however, is something that snuck under the radar for quite a while. But what are they? Well, high grade emissions are a type of signal source where certain rare and very rare manufactured materials can be obtained. I'm talking like core dynamics composites, proprietary composites, imperial shielding, improvised components, military grade alloys, military supercapacitors, all those things that you see at the upper tier of engineering and think, well, how do I get them then? However, there are certain caveats to how you can get them. If you're in Imperial systems, then you can get Imperial shielding. If you're in federal systems, then you can get core dynamics composites or potentially proprietary composites. Areas of civil unrest, improvised components, and war or civil war system states, military grade alloys and military supercapacitors. In outbreak systems, pharmaceutical isolators, boom systems, proto heat radiators, proto light alloys and proto radolic alloys. Now, these materials are virtually impossible to find anywhere else. Yes, you can pick some things up at Dav's Hope. Yes, you might get lucky in a certain combat area. However, one sure way to get some of these places is going to be at high grade emission slots. So once you've found your war torn system of choice, how do you get them? First off, get in there, scan that old navigation beacon. That will reveal all the points of interest in the system for a certain period of time. But they will degrade over time, so you're going to have to be quick. Once you've done that and you're back in Super Cruise, you want to be looking down your navigation section. Now, don't forget you can also use the filters to make it a little less cluttered. You want to have a look at signal sources. And there you can see there's all the signal sources there. High grade emissions, degraded emissions, encoded emissions. All these areas that if you've kitted your ship out well, you can clean up on these good and sought after materials. So, what are you going to find when you get to a high-grade emissions threat zero? Well, not much, to be perfectly honest. When dropping into a spot, you're going to find wreckage. Very unlikely will there be another ship, because it's threat zero. But somebody might jump in. You never know. So keep your wits about you. In these areas of devastation, you're going to see pieces of ship. You know, the remnants of a battle that's once been. But you're also going to find certain materials depending on the location of your war-torn system. Now I'm currently in an Imperial system, over to contacts once in the area, and I can find Imperial shielding, of which there are four units of this. Now, if you've got your ship outfitted with limpets, then good for you. This is going to be really easy. This is my explorer ship, however, and I haven't got any limpets or limpet collector fitted, so it's time to get the old cargo scoop out and get scooping. Now, for those new commanders, this is a skill indeed. For those of you who have played Elite all the way through the ages, you'll be very familiar with cargo scooping. Picking up your materials, put them into your material repository, and then it's on to the next thing. Then it's a case of rinse and repeat. Simple as that. High-grade emissions and the materials that you can get in them. Well worth a look if you're in a military or war-torn area, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. I've been Ricardo, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check back for more videos in the series and like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'll see you soon.